Hi, what's up? Today's video is really special and I'm super excited to share this with you all because as you all know that I'm a hopeless, hopeless romantic and for me going out on dates with Vipul is like something that's more like a constant and we do it kind of frequently but given the fact that we're like super tied up with our hectic work schedules, sometimes getting ready can be a total pain which is why what I have done is kind of decoded if I may say or figured out a very quick and simple easy date night look so come along as I show you how I get ready when I go out on a date. So let's get started. So here I am, I have picked up my favorite red dress from H&M. So make sure that you're wearing something comfortable, something super sexy and nice and what better than wearing a red dress? So now that we've figured out our outfit, let's quickly get into doing the hair and makeup. Now for me personally, I kind of like to keep it like really easy because I want it to be effortless and not look like I'm, you know, literally done up too much. So for my hair, all that I'm going to do is simply open up the puff that I've kind of made. Um, this is something like a hack that I kind of do all the time because it just literally adds this really natural volume and it makes your hair look really nice and it settles well. Um, given the fact that I have a wavy kind of a textured hair, all I'm going to do is straighten out my fringe because I don't like that S and that C shape that happens. So I'm just going to use my Remington hair iron. It's at 230 degrees and all I'm going to do is just flatten out my fringe a little bit. And yeah, that's like pretty much it. Um, another thing that I usually do so as it looks a little different and looks a little nice is I kind of have this free fall you know curve that happens on its own so I just use my iron to kind of make it a little more prominent and so as it sticks all throughout the night so all I'm going to do is just take it very randomly and just twist it a little hold it like that and then just leave it and then while it's hot just touch it a little bit and turn it so it just kind of stays there and that's exactly what I'm going to do on the next side as well it's just small, small things that I do to kind of make my hair look as natural as it can and not too done up. Um, when it comes to giving it a little volume, there's again a little hack that I use. I just use um, this kind of a brush that you can get anywhere, any local store, maybe a beautiful or if there's a beauty center near your house, just kind of go there and give it like a very rough comb. So what happens is that it just adds that extra volume and you're like, good to go. Hair's done. Let's move on to the makeup now. Now what I've done is I've kind of gone ahead and done my base. It's really simple. I kind of have an under eye problem. So I make sure that I focus on my under eye area a little bit. Give it like as minimal coverage as possible. And as far as my entire face, as you can see, it's pretty light. I've not done too much. I've gone for a really nice brown eye shadow because I just feel it looks really natural. I know it's not natural because we have like makeup on, but it just looks really um, easy going and effortless. So um, all I'm going to do right now is use my Studio Fix Compact and just do a little bit of touch up um, so as my makeup does not move all the foundation and the moisturizer and all kind of stays in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and just pack all of that in. You can actually do your makeup completely as you prefer and you know, what you're comfortable with because makeup's all about experimenting and as I always say I'm not like a makeup geek I'm just somebody who kind of understands and knows her skin and the kind of makeup that suits my skin the best so I just stick to it do the usual stuff like put some mascara on I skip out on coal because I just feel that coal makes my eyes look a little smaller so I kind of just skip that off but a little bit of touch up on my makeup and I'm good to go um I'm definitely going to be using lipsticks because I'm a lipstick addict and nothing goes without a great lipstick. Um, since I'm already wearing a red dress, I don't kind of want to go for a loud red mouth. So I'm just going to be mixing two colors. Um, I have this shade called Mocha from MAC, which I absolutely love. I kind of wear this almost on um, everyday basis because it makes for a perfect work color as well. And um, it's the Miss Claire So Soft Lip Cream in the shade 58 that I'm going to go over with. So I'm going to first start off and just kind of put the mock on my lip <laughs> very lightly like don't press it too hard because you're using two shades so you kind of have to be careful about that as well yep that's pretty much it um, if you want to leave it a little nude you can just leave it like that but I like a hint uh, of brownish red kind of coming in so I'm just gonna go over and layer my Miss Claire shade 58 on top I'm 
So we're pretty much done with the makeup, with the hair and a little bit of accessories because um, nothing's complete without some pearl and bling. So um, I picked up these really um, cool earrings from H&M again. I've become an H&M fan, I guess. So I'm just going to put that on. And ta-da! So now that I'm done with my hair and makeup, it's very important that I'm wearing my favorite perfume and if you're going out on a date, make sure that you're smelling your best because you cannot be going out without smelling good on a date. Um, so today I'm going to be wearing Zara, um, it's called Vile Rose and I've been recently obsessing over this, um, it smells really really nice and it's really mild and settled for a good date. So I'm just going to spray it a little on my neck. I just kind of like it here because you're going to get up close and personal, you're going to be hugging your friend or your guy or whoever you're going out on a date with. So a little bit on the neck, uh, some on the hand because I kind of like perfume on my hand as well. And yeah, that's pretty much about it where I kind of put my perfume. So if you put it anywhere else, feel free. And yep, now that I'm done with my hair, makeup, my go-to perfume, we're going to go and just wear my heels and then my entire look is ready and I'm all set to go out on a date with this. Well, so I hope you guys enjoyed this super cool and easy date night look that I created for you all. And if you guys did, make sure that you give this video a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You guys know the drill. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye.